Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and with Christmas time just around the corner, I want to take a few days and share some of the beautifully decorated houses around the area. Now some of these houses you may have seen before, some you may have not, and I do have a few houses in store so each house will be an individual video. But I want to let you know that each location I go to, I will share the location on the screen, the address, so that if you want to come check it out yourself, you could. And also note too that some of these houses do play their own music, so to avoid copyright issues, I'm going to either pipe in my own music or do additional talking throughout the video. And I also want to mention too that if you know of any houses in the area, locally to me, that are video worthy and you'd like me to check out and film, either send me an email or send me a Facebook message and let me know where it's located and I'll do my best to get there. But make sure these houses are unique and really stand out from the rest. But you'll find the links to those down below in the description if you want to contact me with any of those information for the houses. But we're starting off our first video with a place that's locally famous in the Scranton area and it's called the Scranton Holiday House. Now you may recognize this house because I was here back in October and filmed it for, for Halloween time. And you may remember it had the elderly zombie people on the walkers and the caskets and the live actor trying to scare you. And they decorate their house twice a year, every holiday season for Halloween and Christmas. So very popular and what's unique about this house is that unlike others where you have to get out and walk around, you can actually do a drive through. So I'm going to give you a quick look from the outside here where I'm standing. We'll do a drive through of it and then we'll get out and walk around and get a more up close and personal look. So let's get going. So starting off with the house that's next to it, they have some old wooden cutout decorations. You can see strawberry shortcake, looks like Papa Smurf, some Cabbage Patch Care Bears. And up top there through the trees, I think is, I want to say Thor. And we got Captain America and I want to say Iron Man, forgive me if I'm wrong, and I'm the Incredible Hulk. And then it's for Monsters Inc. with Roz and the other characters, but this is where it does start with this house here. With some cool decorations and this large inflatable Scooby-Doo. Then moving up, we got Hermie and Bumble from Rudolph. And some blow mold decorations of some peppermint candies, but what's really impressive here is the animated structures, which are all, I believe, hand carved out of wood and hand painted. Very neat. They even have, I'll zoom in and show you, they got some coal there. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, right there, they got some chunks of coal. 
for all the bad boys and girls. And just in the distance here, it's a nice painted mural there of the Wizard of Oz characters. And right below that is, I think, Lady and the Tramp. Moving up, we got some more elves making the toys, sharpening their tools. And the entryway is quite nice, stone arch with the snowmen, more elves, a little puppy dog there and the Merry Christmas sign. And one of my daughter's favorite decorations from years past is Yo Gabba Gabba. That was one of the first TV shows she ever fell in love with as a young child. So this is a, a very well-known, popular house. Anyone that you know in the area would know about this house. And I believe they have a Facebook page if I could find it. I will link it down below in the description. And uh, one thing they do at certain nights, I think on weekends, they have Santa Claus out here giving out candy canes and greeting the people as they drive through. So that's a nice little thing that they do for the guests. But we got some Sesame Street characters here with a large giraffe and this little window box here which has some animations with a teddy bear kind of teething on the ladder there. And we got this panda doing some circus tricks balancing the presents and Winnie the Pooh's ready for bed. And of course this Dalmatian's getting messed up in the lights. You can see they got lights all around the edge of the road here along the driveway. I should say the alleyway. Moving up, we got some more painted wood decorations with Olaf. And this is the area where we saw Halloween time where they had the elderly zombies on the walkers that were animated, but now we have some singing chorus. It's a very loud playing music, so sorry about that. I'll give you a quick look. We got Jack Skellington there in the window. A really neat looking Grinch. Up on top, you can see the soldiers and Santa's feet waving. Sorry, buddy. So many little 
scene here, a nice little scene. Now, a lot of people criticize them having live animals here, but they actually do have heat lamps, so and they are well kind of taken care of. So, no need for concern, but he's giving me a stink eye right there. He's staring me down, what are you pointing at me? Pretty cute guys. Too. Don't look at me man, making smudges. That's silly. We got a little tiny rain, reindeer bell on them too. Jingle bell. Alright, you gotta stay warm. And uh, oh, getting sidetracked here. Up on the roof here we got Mark Simpson. Say Merry Christmas, man. Buddy the Elf, which I believe is new for this year. If they are hand carved and painted, they do a fantastic job. I'll give you a closer look here. You sit on a throne of lies. Here's Santa with the, I'm assuming the nice list. Let's see, am I on there anywhere? Don't see any Jason, so I guess I wasn't good enough this year. And the last window here we have Snoopy with the peanuts. There's the Charlie Brown tree. And just above them we have some blow mold. Snoopy, the bird, I forget his name, I think, I forget his name, I'm not going to try and guess. And that's um, My Little Pony, and these guys are from, I know those are Minions, but they're from a different movie. I'm bad with this stuff, I always know the names, and I, when I try and think of it, I can't think of it, but anyways, you know what I'm talking about. So, let's look at the holiday Christmas house in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Very fantastic house. They've been doing this for decades, as far as I know. As far as I've been a little kid, I've been coming here. And again, certain nights, they do have Santa Claus out here. And of course, I mentioned every Halloween time, they're decorated as well with various spooky items and sometimes some live actors out here scaring the guests as they drive by. But what are you staring at me for? You have anything else you want to say? Keep staring at me. What do you want? If I had some carrots or something, I'd give them to you, but I don't have anything. Well, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. That's our first look at our decorated house for Christmas time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Again, this is known locally and famously as the Scranton Holiday House. If I have any links down below, look for them in the description for the Facebook page. Any comments or questions about what you've seen in this video, leave those down below as well. And make sure if you're new to my channel to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Thank you for watching and like always, I'll see you in the next video.